Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. I think you're so sexy. Will you come to me? Nope, you're not dreaming. It's the Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston reunion we've all been waiting for. What? Well, sort of. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. It was a good time. The former couple participated in Dane Cook's Feelin' Alive, a virtual live table read of Fast Times at Ridgemont High on Thursday to raise money for two charitable organizations. Jen and Brad, as well as Jimmy Kimmel, Morgan Freeman, Henry Golding, Shia LaBeouf, Matthew McConaughey, Sean Penn, and Julia Roberts, just to name a few, all teamed up for an unrehearsed Anything Goes reading of the 1982 flick. Oh, and it started like this. Hi, Aniston. Hi, Pitt. How you doing? Good, honey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Full freaking body chills. It's really exciting. As for that table read, the twist was that even with some of the film's original stars present, including Sean, no one knew which iconic role would go to which A-lister. Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. Jen ended up playing Linda, and Brad ended up playing, well, Brad, who just so happened to have a very spicy scene together in the flick. Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. I think you're so sexy. Will you come to me? I just want to take a moment to thank the universe for gifting us this legendary moment. We are shook. Oh, yes. Naturally, the Twitter sphere went bananas over the scene between the famous exes who were married from 2000 to 2005, writing things like, and there was just a love scene between Brad and Jen's characters. It was delightfully awkward and ironic and weirdly sweet. I live. And Jen and Brad sharing a scene. Help! It's a good thing. Of course, the hour-long event was a fundraiser for CORE, Community Organized Relief Effort, a humanitarian organization co-founded by Sean, and Reform Alliance in the fight against COVID-19. Okay, the obsession, the world, the internet, everyone is waiting. They're hoping for this moment where you and Jennifer run into each other so they can take their picture. I, I'll run into Jen. She's a good friend. Yeah. Yeah, so they can... So. You know, you know how this goes. The second the second most important reunion of her, of, of, of her year. Yes, exactly. Yes, I understand. The reunion to end all reunions followed Brad and Jen's highly publicized run-in backstage at the SAG Awards earlier this year. The moment marked the first time they had been publicly photographed together since their divorce in 2005. What do you make of our reaction to the big reunion backstage last week at the set? I don't know. I'm blissfully naive, and I'm going to stay that way. It's hysterical, but what else are they going to talk about? <laughs> last month, E.T. caught up with Dane Cook, the actor we have to thank for organizing this glorious table read. And he admitted that reuniting the former couple wasn't really intentional. I wish I could say that was my plan all along, but as it <laughs> as it started to come together, I thought, wow, we might uh, be reunited. But Dane totally gets why fans are losing their minds over it. They're fascinating people, and also because of the level of talent and philanthropy. And when you have fascinating figures like that, of course you want to see them together. That's the magic, right? You want to see that spark. Hi, Aniston. Hi, Pitt. 